Hi, welcome to my channel Stitch and Style by me, Nadia. This is another Friday Sews. This week I have a couple of makes to share with you and um, an alteration. The first thing I've made this week is to complete my outfit for my sister's wedding. If you've watched some of my vlogs before, I've talked about this um, a few times and I decided on the fabric that I wanted to use but I'd not decided on a pattern and then I made the Anna Allen Anthea blouse as a twirl to see if I was going to make that and I really liked it but I was a little bit nervous about buttonholes with the viscose fabric and I was concerned about just getting a nice clean finish which is what I wanted on my blouse so after considering it I decided to make the sage brush top instead by Friday Pattern Company and that's because I've already made the top before and really like it and there is also no fiddly closures or anything to do and so yeah I finished it now and I'll just pop it on for you to see so this is my sage brush top and I'm just going to step back, give you um, a quick twirl and then I'll come back and share some of the details. So I hope you got to see it with my Winslow Clots by Helen's Closet and I'm still working on the final details of my outfit, whether I'm going to wear a belt, um, I've got my jacket here and um, I bought a new bag actually. I showed you, if you have been watching my previous vlogs, I showed you a blue bag that I bought but I decided to take that back and get a white bag. So now I've got a white bag to wear with my outfit, but, and I've got my blue hat still. Um, yeah, so hopefully in a few weeks, I'll be able to share my final outfit with you and photos from the wedding. Um, that'll be really exciting. So just to share the details on the sage brush top, I'll put a picture of the line drawing up now. You might notice that I have changed the sleeves. I've just extended them so they're just kind of just below my elbow um, because I prefer this kind of length rather than shorter. And I did find actually when I did them a bit shorter, they kept riding up. Um, I don't know whether that was just because the elastic was perhaps a little bit too tight. Um, but I decided to that I prefer this length anyway. So the PDF pattern goes from a size extra small or a size zero, which is a 32 inch chest, and up to a 7X, which is a size 32 or a 60 inch chest. I'm five foot eight and a half, and I've not lengthened the top and it is fairly lengthy and it also leaves enough room for quite a generous hem which I actually really like the um, depth of the hem you could just reduce um, the length of the pattern and do a less generous hem depending on how much fabric you have I know that um, Liz the baker that sews she's done um, a vlog on how to get this top out of um, a metre of fabric if you would be interested in that I'll link it below um, obviously it would just be for some of the smaller sizes that would work for and I've not tried it um, I know she doesn't cut the um, bias binding actually on the bias whereas I have done and um, I wasn't trying to save fabric on this and I didn't try and pattern match actually, except I did have a lucky coincidence um, at the back. And I don't know if you can see the kind of like the 
orangey colour actually links um, from the back yoke down to the bodice and that actually matches up but that was a total coincidence on my part I'm not going to claim um, anything like that I thought it was just so busy it didn't really matter oh let me just show you the length on me it might be difficult for you to tell with these pants but it's um, so there's my natural waist and that's kind of my low hip so it does come down to my low hip and look you can see there's a two um, centimetre hem on that I don't think I'd actually wear it loose maybe with some skinny jeans or something I'd wear it loose um, and then you've got the contrast but with the wide pants and obviously I've got these wide arms then um, I just like some definition on my waist so the pattern itself is an absolute dream to sew I think it comes up together really nicely really well there's no fastenings I did have a little bit of an issue with my bias binding and had to take the original bias binding off and then reattach a new piece of bias binding but that was totally my own doing it went in around the neckline absolutely lovely um, the first time and was absolutely gutted <laughs> I had to remove it the reason why I had to remove it was because I was thinking of doing a button and rouleau loop closure at the back instead of the tie but I couldn't work out how to finish the edge properly and then I tried and then I cut it too short so I was left with no other option than to remove the bias binding that I'd originally sewed on. So apart from that, which was my own doing, I didn't have any issues with it. It's got French seams inside partly. The only bit I've not French seamed is along the front and the back yoke. Um, just because it might get, it was just a bit bulky there. And also you've got the gathering, so it was just easier to run those bits through the overlocker. And this fabric is Austin Circle Line Rayon by Rachel Parker for Dashwood Studio. And I love these colours and it reminds me of the colours of the different lines on the tube. And um, because I lived in London for two and a half years, I absolutely loved living there. Um, yeah, as soon as I saw this fabric, I was like, oh, I have to have some. It's such a special fabric and I have actually got the pink colourway um, in it as well. So I've got some of the blue left and I might put the blue with the pink to make um, a dress. That would be lovely. I got the fabric from the Eternal Maker. I'm not sure if they still have it in stock, but if they don't, I'll put a link in to somewhere if I can find it online that has it in stock. As this was such a special fabric to me, I did really want it for a special occasion and um, a special pattern. And I'm really happy that I chose this. And I think it works well with my Winslow Clots. I like how um, there's a lot of volume in the Winslow Clots and I like how it kind of balances out with a bit of volume on the top half. And I look forward to showing my family um, what I've made uh, for my sister's wedding. And hopefully my sister will like it as well. So I'm just going to move on to my next make. And this is the Agnes Top by Tilly and the Buttons. And this is a standalone pattern. You can do some ruching um, here at the front and create a sweetheart neckline or you can create some puff sleeves with some elastic um, and I'll put some line pictures in now to show you. Now this one I've just created, just done the plain version with um, none of the extra details that you can add and I've made it so it's... Um, three quarter colour length sleeve, well maybe not 
three, just below the um, elbow, there's my elbow, so just below the elbow length sleeves. I couldn't decide whether I was going to do long sleeves or short sleeves and I decided somewhere in the middle. And I have done a full bicep adjustment on the arms of this. That's one alteration I had to make. The other alteration is the neckband on it. Now, every time I've tried to do the neckband using the length of the neckband that Tilly suggests, I found it that it doesn't lie flat um, and the neckband needed to be smaller in order to create um, a flat lying neckband like I've got here. So I had to take it down to below the smallest size, um, the neckband. In fact, I'll just measure it just to 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 tell you. So I've just done a quick measurement of the neck, the length of the neckband that I've used for mine. This is a straight size five, and I've used the neckband length of thirty one centimeters if that helps anybody if who is struggling with who if you're struggling with the neckband on it um i don't know whether it's just cuz it depends on what kind of material you use now i've made a couple of these in art gallery jersey fabrics because you only need a meter to make the top um although i did struggle to I would have struggled to get the sleeves out of um, a metre in the way I cut it out. But I might have been distracted while I was cutting it out because I was actually cutting it out when I was on the Zoom call for the sewing weekend, which happened um, this weekend just gone. And I was enjoying chatting to everybody on the Zoom call. and. I was trying to cut out and sew at the same time and I, yeah, I was a little bit distracted so I made a couple of little errors, um, one which I shared with the um, people on the Zoom call. So when I first cut out the neckband on this one um, and I attached it, I just basted it in, I like to baste in all my neck lines before I um, overlock them and I'd not cut it out very well so um, the pattern actually wasn't even and I asked everybody on the zoom call what they would do now I got some really positive feedback saying um, you know the, the fabric is busy and you know they had to it was only after I'd pointed it out that they would have noticed but then um, someone said that obviously if I notice it and it would bother me, then perhaps redo it. And I took that advice and I thought, do you know what? If I do it and I look at it every single time that I put it on, I'm not going to be happy with it. Then I'm going to um, end up taking it off and redoing it anyway so I might as well do it at the point where I've only just basted it in. So I recut it and now you can see it's quite even um, on the pattern. I think when it's a geometric pattern um, you do have to be careful with your cutting out and I actually just used the, sh the lines and the shapes to cut it out the second time which actually helped get it all nice and neat oh so for the sizing on the pattern so as far as i can tell this one's not too size inclusive and it only goes from a size 6 to 20 which is a size a bust size of 30 inches waist 24 hip 33 up to a size 20 which is a 44 inch bust, 38 inch waist and 47 inch hip and the pattern does have negative ease in it so that means that the actual width of the 
top is smaller than my body measurements. Um, so I went for a size, a straight size 5, which is for a bust 38. Now I'm a bust 37. A waist 32, I'm um, a waist 30 and hip 41 and I'm a hip 42. So I probably could have sized down on the bust and the waist to the size 4 but when I looked at the, the measurements and I have made this top before I just decided to cut out in this straight size 5. And I'll just stand back and show you how long it is on me. So that's the length of it. And I'm just wearing some leggings. So you can kind of see it comes down. It's really quite long. I've got plenty of room in that. And I've got a long torso. And I absolutely love the colours of this uh, material. This is an art gallery fabric and I got it from Minerva and I find the art gallery washes and wears really nicely. I love the fact as well that it's got black and blue in this so if I wanted to wear it with um, something black I could do and actually I was thinking I might make a black dress that's sleeveless and maybe wear this underneath. I think that could look really nice and it's also got blue in it so actually I think this is a really good colour combination. Now just let me grab the other top that I altered. This is also an Agnes top that I made a while ago and I actually made it with the puffy sleeves um, but I found it wasn't really working for me and this is it. So this is the short sleeved version and I made this before I did the full bicep adjustment so it's quite tight on my bicep um, I'm not sure if you can really tell on this. When I had the puffy sleeves, and I think actually this is the design of the top, to have the big puffy sleeves and then it'd be quite tight on the arms. But I don't know, I just kind of felt it wasn't like working for me. Um, it might also be the fabric is a little bit floral and I do like florals but I think maybe with the big puff sleeve and the floral and then the tight arms, I don't know, just something about it wasn't kind of working. So I took the arms off and I recut the arms um, and then reattached them. And then when I ran them through the overlocker, I caught some of the fabric. So I had to undo some of the overlocking and then redo them, making them smaller. Um, so it required quite a little bit of fiddling around with the sleeves. And I don't think it's perfect. I don't think they sit perfectly. But, you know, I much prefer this top now after I've done the... after I've taken out the puffy sleeves on them and um, I'm think definitely going to get some more wear out of them. I do actually really enjoy doing alterations. You might have noticed that, that I regularly do little alterations to my clothes so I can get the most use out of them and I think Me Made May has been really good for me um, in thinking about what I'm going to wear and why I'm not reaching for certain items in my wardrobe. And actually, as you can see, I've cut this one a bit shorter um, than the last one. And I think that was probably to get it out of one metre because this, I think this is, yeah, this is a directional print. So you do have to be um, a little more careful when rearranging, when arranging your pattern pieces. And yes, I really enjoyed the sewing weekender. I did have to take advantage of some of the discounts and the virtual goodie bags. I've not watched all the videos yet. I decided on Saturday I watched most of the videos and I was just sewing my sagebrush top and I was kind of in the middle of it. Um, so, and I was feeling a little bit shy about joining the Zoom on the Saturday. 
Um, so I did pluck up the courage to do it on the Sunday and I got such a lovely reception from Anna who is You Got Me In Stitches which was really really lovely and um, we had a little chat on the Zoom and I enjoyed actually making the top I previously showed you I really enjoyed making that with them there and that's the first time I've ever done anything like that I've still got the Sunday videos to catch up on at some point so I'll look forward to catching up with them thank you very much for joining me today I hope you've enjoyed seeing my makes I really appreciate you watching, subscribing and liking and all the things and I'll see you next time. Bye!